Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me here at the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Urlichs, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate at Aqua Security. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate different types of reports through the Trivi CLI. Usually when you run a Trivi CLI scan on your different resources, you're provided with the scan results in your terminal or in your CICD pipeline. However, in many cases, you would want to store those reports long term, either download them, save them, save them to S3 buckets in AWS or other long term solutions. So you can go back in time at your different reports or if, for example, an upgrade to your application doesn't go as expected or a week after you find critical vulnerabilities, you can again look at those scan results from Trivi. I'm going to show you how you can create different types of scans with Trivi and generate basically different types of reports. And I'm also going to show you the type of functionality that Trivi currently doesn't support and that you would have to use other tools or for example, Arc for Enterprise and other enterprise solutions for. Now, before you get started and you follow this tutorial, you have to make sure that Trivi is actually installed in your environment. Now, in this case, install Trivi inside of your terminal if it isn't already. If it's already installed but you're at a later version then please upgrade your version. Here are the installation instructions. You can find lots and lots of different installation instructions here for Trivi. Now we can head over to our terminal and we can say Trivi version and check the version that's currently installed. In this case I'm actually on the older version so I'm quickly going to upgrade it. Um, brew upgrade Trivi and that should do the trick. Every time I'm using Trivi, they come up with a new version. But lots of features are backwards compatible. Just keep that in mind. If they are not backwards compatible, you will find like an orange box in the documentation. Just FYI. Okay, so now we have the new Trivi version that we just released this week. Amazing. We have everything set up. Now we want to get started with our reporting feature. So let's head over to Docs with all of the documentation. And we can head down and we find reports. But reports is actually compliance reports, which is not what we want to do. We want to create a reporting, which is under configuration. Now, as part of our reporting functionality, we support different types of formats. We support a table format, a JSON format, a serif format, templates, so also custom templates and SBOMs. Now the first option for our reporting is actually the table format, which is the default format that you will receive the information, the output of the scan in when you run a Trivi scan. So if we copy this command to perform a Trivi image vulnerability scan on this Alpine image, Golang Alpine image, then we see here if we use the table format, if we specify that we want to have table format, if we specify it, if we don't specify it, either way we will receive the output of our different security issues of our vulnerabilities as a table format, even if we don't specify that we want to have it in the table format, it will still be displayed in the table format because that's the default. It makes it easy to read all of your security issues. Click the link for more information. Now the table format is supported in vulnerability scans, in misconfiguration scans, secret scans, license scans. So also if you use Trivi config or Trivi file system command for configuration scans uh, or Trivi license scans, you will receive the information in a table format. So it's supported across these different scanners. We have four different scanners in Trivi. Now the next format that we support is the JSON format. You can specify that you want to have the format to be JSON of the output result. And then you can also specify, for example, an output file that you want to store the information in. So let's say we first want to have the JSON format displayed in our terminal. So we're going to go ahead, JSON. And now we receive the result not as a table, but actually in JSON. This is the JSON output of our different security issues of the container image. What we can do next is we can actually store the information in an output file. So you can say dash dash output or dash O for output and we can say result.json and we can store the information in a result.json file. Now that result.json file is going to be in my local directory in that case. That's where I saved it to. I can also specify a different path. 
And here is my result.json file with all of the information. If you enjoy Trivi, if you enjoy Trivi's functionality, if you have been using Trivi, if you're just trying out Trivi and you like it, then please do consider giving us a star on GitHub. No, don't just consider it. Go down to the description. There's a link to the repository. Click on the link, click on the star in GitHub to the repository. It would mean so much to myself as well as to all of the contributors that make this tool possible. Thank you. Now, at this point, let me tell you about a really cool tool called JLess. JLess is a command line JSON viewer. And here's what you can do with it. You basically take the previous command where you say the format should be JSON. And then you perform the scan like usual. Now, this would produce this would produce the JSON output, right? And that's what we stored actually in our file in our result.json file. Now, you can pipe the result also into JLess. And then JLS allows you to really neatly view the output. So you can then click through the different output options. So for example, if you're not interested in the metadata on the other information, you can just head straight over to results. Here are your vulnerabilities. And in other scans, we will get to that. I can show you that in a second as well. In other scans, you wouldn't, you can not only like view the vulnerabilities, but then you can filter also through vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and so on. So JLS is a really amazing tool that allows you to filter through the different vulnerabilities. So for instance, in the directory above, I have a bad infrastructure as code directory with several different files on Terraform, on Docker, and Docker file, and other things. So I want to scan that now for misconfigurations. I do that with the trivi config command and the output is then uh, I want to have it as JSON, right? In a JSON format. And I can pipe it also into JLS. Now this is going to perform the scan. Misconfiguration scanning is enabled. It will look for vulnerabilities. It will look for other things. So I can then go through the different results, misconfigurations different types of misconfigurations, and I can view them as well. So for example, I have here the misconfigurations, Docker file, and I can see without going into the detail necessarily directly, oh, there are lots of issues. Um, I can just see the different types of issues right here. It makes it a lot easier to filter through the results. Now, the JSON format is also supported in vulnerability scanning, misconfiguration scanning, secret sc scanning, and license scanning. Next, we have the serif format. The serif format is supported in vulnerability scanning, misconfiguration scanning, and secret scanning, but not in license scanning. And it's similar process, we just specify dash dash format serif, or just dash f serif. And then we can run that scan as well but get the result as a report.serif format. So if we now open our report.serif format, it's right here. Here's our JSON from before, and here's now our serif report as well. Now the serif format can also be uploaded to the GitHub code scanning results. And there's a Trivi GitHub action for that. So do check that out if you're curious on how to do that. So next up, you could also specify a custom template, either a custom template that you actually want to set up that provides you with certain information. Or you could also use one of our default templates, load a template from a file or similar. So as part of our default templates, we have JUnit, ASFF, and HTML. So you could also pu produce reports through those custom templates. So the last reporting format that I want to show you is SBOM. SBOM are also generated through the dash dash format command. So we have CycloneDX and SPDX formats, and you can, for example, create SPDX JSON or the, f the format Cyclone DX. Now you would specify the container image that you want to generate the SBOM for. And SBOM stands for Software Bills of Material, and it basically provides you with a list of all of the different components of that container image. So if we say Trivi image, and then we provide format SPDX JSON, output is result SPDX, and it's over there. And then we just need our container image from the previous step. So it's our Golang Alpine image. We're going to run this command and this is going to generate us a file with the SBOM output of our container image, which is also a type of 
reports that you can generate as SBOMs can be easily shared between different entities to showcase the components that are in your resources, in your development resources. And then we can find the SBOM here. Now, SBOMs are not supposed to be human readable. <laughs> However, you can provide that to different platforms and then also store the SBOM, share the SBOM. You can also uh, push the SBOM to your container registry and that will allow, for example, Trivi to perform security scans, vulnerability scans, not on a container image directly, but on the SBOM as well. There are lots of different options and I suggest you have a look at that. Also, let me know what kind of options you would like to see in a different tutorial. As always, I really hope this video was useful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos, for live streams, as well as tutorials. Do let me know in the comments what kind of videos, what kind of tutorials you would like to see on Trivi and Tracy. Also, link below in the description is, first of all, the link to our reporting documentation, then the link to JLS, the, the tool, the JSON tool I've showed you as well and then also the link to our Slack channel. If you have any questions, do post them in the respective Slack channel, in our Slack community, or start a GitHub action or a GitHub discussion. Uh, we would love to hear feedback on the documentation as well as on uh, the way that you're using our reporting feature. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in one of our next videos. Bye-bye.